program. Minister. We meet at last. How will this series expand the story of Malcolm X and MLK? And what new findings about their relationship will we learn? What the show is really great at is allowing us a behind the scenes look or for Dr. King and Malcolm X, Aaron and I love to say, what the moment before the podium. We know that these men were great orators, but what happened right after they got off that podium and what happened right before it? And those are the qualities that make the man. So what the show offers us is a tangible quality so we can actually feel what it feels like to be kind of great. What does greatness look like and how complicated and human is it? It's definitely a, a, a at least for, for us, you know, exploration into not only the moments, but who they were as, as individuals. And, you know, one of the things that we always say is that you can't tell Martin's story without Malcolm, but you also can't tell Martin and Malcolm's story without Betty and Coretta. And so for us, part of that expansion is really li really living within who they were as, as women, other than just being wives to both Martin and Malcolm. So for us, you know, we, we take you on a definite journey during the eight hours, but, but it's one that hopefully highlights, you know, more who they were as humans. And in, in addition to the, you know, watershed moments that we all know. I play Caressa Scott King. Uh, we know her as an activist. Mm. We know her as a great woman involved in policy making in the United States. Mm. But some of the things she fought for have transcended geography and are globally recognized. Uh, she also happened to be married to Dr. Martin Luther King, who mm. we also know as one of the great uh, people of civil rights, the civil rights movement. A lot of times we think she was just an appendage to her husband, mm. but she was in fact as an equal. They both had equal desire to see social justice and social change in America and beyond that. I have the honor of playing Dr. Betty Shabazz. And I'd say for me, most people only know her by name of the wife of Malcolm X. And so for me, the most important element was to give her her full name and that we no longer just relegate her to the wife of, but we fully get to see her as a woman. It was important for me to, to give her the just due of seeing her as the woman that she was independent of um, the man that she fell in love with.